In this video, we're going to look into the equation of a line parallel to the x-axis. Let's say we've got the rectangular coordinate axis here. That is the y-axis and the x-axis. So we know that this is y o y dash and this is x dash o x. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. All right. And now we have to answer the question. What is the equation of a line that is going to be parallel to x-axis? Now, mark the y-axis and the x-axis. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And it's going to be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, and negative 6. And it's going to be positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and so on. All right, now let us just name where we want. Now say we've got this line passing here exactly. All right, this is the line that we're talking about. This is the line whose equation we have to find out now. And this line is exactly parallel to the x-axis. That means all the points of this line is at the same distance from the x-axis. That's what it means. And also we can see that it exactly coincides the fourth division of the y-axis, right? So the value here is supposed to be 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we can see that the equation of this line will simply be y equal to 4. We're talking about this exact line, all right? This line can be as small as this, or it can be longer than this, or it can be simply a dot, okay? But the fact is, it is parallel to the x-axis, is what is the most important thing here. So for such kind of a line, the equation is just going to be y equal to 4. We are just bothered about where exactly is it from x. We are not bothered of it as how long is it as a line or how short is it as a line because we know that however long it's going to be, you know, it is exactly parallel to the x-axis. That's why. But if it was, you know, not parallel to the x-axis, then, it, then it'll be a different case. But since all the points of this line are at the same distance from the x-axis. It really doesn't matter, the, you know, it really doesn't matter what's going to be the length of this line to get the equation of this line. We just have to find out that one point on the y-axis and then we can extend it on either sides to make it a line. All right, so that is how you find out the equation or that is how you write the equation of a line that is parallel to x-axis. I'm sure you've already guessed what is going to be the equation of a line that is going to be parallel to y-axis, whatever, I mean, uh, anyways, we will be looking at that in the forthcoming video. But this is, y equals to 4 is the equation of this specific line, all right? But generally speaking, what will it be? Let me show it to you here. So generally speaking, here is that line. Now, let's say the distance from the x-axis to this line is exactly b. That, that means y, the value of y coordinate or the value of the y-axis is b. That's what it is. So the equation is going to be y equals b. So for any line that is parallel to the x-axis on the positive side of y-axis, the equation is going to be y equals b. But what if the same line was, you know, in the negative side, in the negative part of the y-axis? In that case, what if it was like this in, in, and the distance being b itself? So in this case, the equation will be y equals negative b. All right, so I hope you've understood uh, how and what is the equation of a line that is parallel to x-axis. All right, so that concludes this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming video with the equation of a line parallel to the y-axis.